Hi guys, it's me Tammy and I'm here with a really quick review for you guys. It is on a face product, which is why I have no makeup on my face. Well, no foundation anyway. It is on the CoverGirl Clean Fresh Skin Milk. This has coconut milk and aloe extract in it. It comes in about 14 shades and it's like 12 bucks at the drugstore. Now this was all over YouTube a few months ago and I bought it and I tried it and I hated it. <laughs> So I didn't do a review on it. I have a tendency to just like toss products I don't like. I don't even bother to review them, which is not the best thing to do because then how am I helping you guys? So I was like decluttering my makeup and realized I still had this. So I wanted to show you guys um, what it does and doesn't do. So um, I have the color medium. Like I said, it comes in 14 shades. Since this is kind of like a BB cream, I feel like it's probably better to apply it with your fingers. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a brush on one side and then my fingers for the other side. So I'm going to shake it up because I haven't used this in a little bit. And what this is supposed to do is blurs and perfections, evens out skin tone, sheer buildable coverage, instant and all day hydration. Now, what got me on this was the instant and all day hydration because like I said, my skin has definitely been drier lately. So I'm going to use this on the left side. Little messy. I think I did too much gonna apply the rest onto this brush so I'm not wasting it all right so I feel like the color is weird but as you start to rub it in it kind of does blend in and I saw a bunch of people my skin tone using medium which I thought was so odd because I'm usually some kind of like medium tan or whatever but I was like you know what it's cool it's cool so I think the shade is just a little light for me, but after a minute, it does sink in well. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. I have a major, major issue with this product. It stinks. I mean, it, for me, it freaking reeks. I guess it's the coconut milk, but it smells like sour milk. I bought this product two other times. And I swear to you, I felt like, I don't know, it just smells funky, like really, really funky. And I'm a person that smells important to me, like really important. So that was a problem. Like I still smell it right now and I'm like, Ugh. Ugh. so I would not want to put something like that on my face. Um, kind of give you guys a close up. So you'll see it is kind of sinking into my skin a little more. Um... Making sure I blend all that in. So I can see that there's a like I can see that there's definitely a difference between both sides. Like this side definitely looks dewier and has a little bit of like there is some coverage. Definitely some coverage. Like this side just looks duller and a little redder. So yeah, we're gonna use a brush on this side. And I'm going to apply less this time. I definitely think, well, I like to apply things with the brush anyway. I hate to get my hands dirty. I just feel like then when you move on to the next product, if you're getting foundation onto the next product as you're opening it. It's just it makes a mess. Okay. So definitely the skin looks feel like the coverage is a little fuller I, probably because I just applied more I just kind of slapped it on with my fingers and I was a little more careful with the brush but the coverage is really it's pretty I would definitely say that it's pretty um my face doesn't really feel like it gets oily however this smell honestly this smell I can't I can't the second this video is done I am taking this off my earrings all red my ears all red look at that I never wear earrings um, and this is just oh that's why seriously there we go all right so the second this video is done I'm taking this off another issue that I have with this is my face gets itchy like really really itchy after using this and I really can't figure out why. 
probably because some type of silicone is a little higher near the top of the list but it's not that high like i've used products with straight silicone and they don't make my face as itchy as this does um like i said the coverage is super pretty like really really pretty and if you have drier skin you'll probably really love this the smell does fade it does like right now i don't smell it as much but i don't know like i just i can't get past the initial smell and i obviously the itching is just a complete problem but if you're a person that has drier skin and you're not sensitive to silicones or scent <laughs> um this is definitely like a win because like i said the coverage is just so pretty it's just the other things that are for me just complete and utter deal breakers if you guys have tried this foundation before or i'm sorry this um skin milk please leave me a comment below and let me know if yours stinks too so that is my review if you guys are not sensitive to smells and you have dry skin um that's not super sensitive I would definitely give this a try. If you have oily skin, stay away from this. The dewy finish is just not for you. Um, but yeah, right now, this is just a miss for me. Unless we can find a way for this to not smell and not make me itch, which I don't see how, it's a pass. <laughs> don't forget to like and subscribe. And thank you so much for watching, guys. Bye.